welcome home. Alright, so I wanted to record a video because Nexus Mods does not plan on updating Nexus Mod Manager at all moving forward. And I wanted to share an update, a unofficial update from one of the admins for ESL support and SKSE64 support. Because as of right now, the only update that's available for Nexus Mod Manager does not support SKSE64, as you can see here and we would have to launch a custom Skyrim SE, which is a complete pain in the ass, especially because we are not getting an official update for Nexus Mod Manager, and we have to wait until the Vortex Mod Manager comes out, which we have no idea when that's coming out. That could be months from now. It could be a year from now. I'm assuming since they're not doing updates for Nexus Mod Manager anymore, it's going to be somewhat soon. But I wanted to share this update with you guys because it does come directly from one of the admins, Mr. Mason, on the Nexus Mod forums. So I'm going to go ahead and read this post to you guys, and then I'll show you how to install this. As you're hopefully aware, we are busy with working on our new mod manager, Vortex, and have officially stopped supporting Nexus Mod Manager. We have, however, taken some time to release version 0.63.17, which has support for SKSE 64 and ESL plugins. Please be aware that these latest releases are not fully code signed as our certificate has elapsed, so you will need to accept any warnings that Windows throws at you. So as for the change log, it's just added support for ESL plugins and fixed SKSE 64 support for Skyrim Special Edition, and you can either download it from here, the direct download, or you can download it from here, whatever you feel is safer. Let's go ahead and just download and we'll go ahead and save it right to our downloads and boom. Now I'm going to go ahead and close Nexus Mod Manager and then let's go ahead and launch this update and we should get a warning and then we're going to run through this and these are community fix releases. So again, there might be issues. That's, that's pretty much all the warning I can give you. Next, next, and we can see we want to associate everything. Don't need to create a desktop shortcut because I already have one and hit next and install. And then as you can see, added ESL plugin support and then fixed SKSE support. So both of these are unofficial and they're not available on the official download page. Let's go ahead and hit next and launch Nexus Mod Manager. And we're gonna launch Skyrim Special Edition Mod Manager so that we can see the SKSE support. All right, so as you can see, we've got launch SKSE now. As you can see, it launches the Skyrim Script Extender and we'll go ahead and switch into game mode and we'll run a quick test by typing in get SKSE version and hitting enter. And as you can see, SKSE version 2.0.4, it's working. And now we have SKSE 64 launch support right through the Nexus Mod Manager. And we also have ESL support. I can't really show you that because I don't have any ESL mods to share with you guys. So just to show you what I mean by this is not available officially is, as you can see, this is version 0.6317. The only available version on the actual Nexus page is 0.6314. And that is not going to give you any of these new features. So very simple installation. I just want to let you guys know where it was available and let you know that it exists because a lot of people are probably not going to even realize that Nexus Mod Manager is not getting any more updates. I wanted to share with you guys that there are these community updates that are going on that are not getting posted to the Nexus Mod website directly. So anyways, guys, that's it for this video. And until next time, this is Apaxi signing off. Thanks.